now the family of a Kent man who sadly died just weeks after hiking up Machu Picchu have raised over £100,000 in her honour. Katia Batchelor from Tunbridge had, un had an undiagnosed stage 4 bowel cancer when she made the trek in March and sadly passed away just 10 weeks later at the age of 49. Her husband Duncan and the rest of the family decided to run the Tunbridge Half Marathon in her honour while raising funds for Cancer Research UK. Now Duncan and daughter Anna are able to join me on the programme this morning. Um, first, firstly, good morning to you both. Duncan, uh, tell me about Katia and what she was like. Good morning. She was a wonderful person. She was particularly talented and clever and, and, and kind, uh, which makes this all, all the hardest for us. But I, I think that's one of the reasons why we've raised so much money, because so many people loved her so much. Um, and friends and colleagues have all rallied around and contributed to Cancer Research UK because she was such a special person, taken at such a young age. Mm. Tell us what sort of symptoms she, she started talking about. <clears throat> well, honestly, at the time, nothing at all. So the whole thing came as a shock. I think in retrospect, we, we looked back and thought, oh, well, there was some uh, anemia a, a few months before that the doctors dealt with by iron or there was a you know, there, there was a pain in, in the abdomen once that they put down to gastroenteritis. But other than that, nothing at all. She was a very healthy person. She had a fantastic diet. And she was annoyingly healthy, you know, probiotic food, organic vegetables, exercise, no smoking. You know, she, she, she did everything right. And so it was a huge shock. But the moment when it was realized was when she just felt a, a blockage. She felt bunged up and, and went to the doctor. This was the day after we came back from Peru. And they sent her off for a test, and it, it was a blockage in the bowel, which it turns out was was tumours in the bowel, which itself was a medical emergency. Yeah, I mean, that must have been a massive shock to you when you discovered what was going on. Yes, life just turned upside down, really, from everything having been perfect uh, at a, a great stage of life. We, we were looking forward to the next stage of life with children nearly through school. It was during my son Sasha's A-levels that all, all this happened, so he went through his A-level exams with chemotherapy and the fear of cancer hanging over him. And, and in fact, she died before his last exam. Um, and, uh, and for all of us, you know, Anna was away at university. And, and for me, it turned life upside down uh, overnight, really. And so, you know, 10 weeks start to finish um, is, is a very quick time to turn your life around. Yeah, and I, and I guess time must have, have raced past you because at the point you know what's going to be happening um, and, and Katja was, was diagnosed, I guess there were sort of constant hospital visits and, and treatments and that just takes over everything that's happening in your life. Uh, absolutely. You, you drop everything. Uh, and so overnight I became a, a carer um, and then in the last few days I effectively learned how to become a palliative carer. Um, and you drop everything. So whatever you think in life is important to you, uh, whatever you might joke about and say that you can't do without, when something like this happens, the reality is that you drop everything mm. because there's nothing more important than health and life of your loved ones. Stay where you are for a minute, Duncan. We're just going to have a chat with, with Anna. Um, to you now, Anna, good morning. You and your brother and your dad have decided to do this for your mum. How much of a motivation has that been during training? I mean, it's been the whole reason we've been doing it. Um, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I can't run at the moment because I injured myself. But I know for everybody else in the team, when it gets tough and you're training, um, having that motivation of doing something good, especially for mum, yeah, it drives us forward. So, Yeah, it's amazing. And are you surprised at just how much money you've been able to raise already? It is a staggering amount. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing to see how much money we've raised and we're so grateful to everyone who's donated. But like Dad said, she had so many friends that actually, you know, it's not a shock that so many people wanted to support. I mean, of course, that amount of money is amazing, but the number of people is it's not that surprising considering how, mom, how amazing Mum was. Back to Duncan, and I, I guess, Duncan, you're going to be thinking whilst you're, you're, you're doing that, um, that marathon, that half marathon, what's going to be going through your mind when you see that finish line on Sunday afternoon? Well, I, I'll be glad to cross the line with Sasha, my, my son, 
And, and there's a team of us, as I said, I, I don't know whether we'll all manage to go around together, but we're, we're going to try and stay in a group to be visual. But I think we can reflect on a, a, a job well done, but it, it's not over. I mean, Cancer Research UK will be at the half marathon as well. There'll be a stall there and we're encouraging other people to donate as well. So we'd really love this to keep going. Um, so, so what we did actually was to set up a domain name that redirects to the Cancer Research UK fundraiser, but is much easier to remember. Uh, and that's teamkatia.org. And so we've had shirts made with that on our shirts and we'll all be running around. And I think when we get to the end, we can feel in a sense that we've closed one little chapter and, and we can move on and we've done something good at the same time. And we hope that we'll have raised awareness as well, because I think we all feel it's very important not just to raise money, which does make a difference, it makes a huge difference because this could happen to you. It could happen to anyone, even if you have a perfect lifestyle. So it's really important that we all support Cancer Research UK. But the other thing to do is to raise awareness. So if we've raised awareness as we cross the finish line, we'll be happy. The messages are, you know, take a test, never miss screening. And if there's something wrong that you feel that you can't explain, then always ask for a test because screening isn't always available at a young age in this country. But it doesn't mean you can't ask if there's a suspicion. Really brave of you to come on and speak. And thank you, Duncan. Thank you, Anna. And we wish you the best uh, at the weekend and hope uh, that you have fun as well. Do let us know how you get on. It is BBC.